I wanted to talk to you guys about brunch today. Now, most people love brunch, and I am one of those people who loves brunch. But when you think about it, you want to make sure that you have all the bases covered. So you want to have something sweet, something savory, a veggie, maybe some fruit. And this salad that I'll be making sort of encompasses all of those things at the same time. It's a really beautiful salad, and it's my aunt's recipe. All the people on my mom's side have been cooks or bakers or both, not in a professional capacity, but we all really love food on that side of the family, so everybody has their specialty. The salad I'm making today is my Aunt Margaret salad, and um, I remember when I was a little girl, she would make this salad for family gatherings, and it was gross to me. I did not like it. Uh, it just did not appeal to me. But as I got older and I matured and my taste buds changed a little bit, I realized that this is actually a really beautiful, delicious, kind of healthy salad. So it's different parts that you can kind of switch out as you need. I like to use mixed greens. My aunt, when she does it, she uses romaine. Um, and you can do just basic spinach, but I like to use like a mixed green medley. So I've gone ahead and I've added that to my bowl. I am using currently these beautiful strawberries. I've cut them up, I've prepared them, I've washed them, and they're ready to go. So I'm just gonna, actually before I do that, I'm going to put my pecans down. No, I'm gonna do the strawberries first. So I'm gonna put my strawberries down in my bowl. And the nice thing about this is that you can really use any seasonal fruit. I've made this salad in the fall before where I've used pears, which are really delicious in this salad. You can use grapes, um, just any really delicious seasonal fruit. This would be good with like a melon, like a cantaloupe or a honeydew. It's a really delicious salad. And again, it's so versatile. So to the top of my berries, I'm going to add my toasted pecans. You really want to be careful when you're toasting pecans because they can go quickly and then they can burn because of all the fat that they have, the beautiful yummy nut fats that they have. So you really want to make sure that you keep an eye on them and you don't let them get too done. So I've just done my pecans. I toasted them on the stovetop in my open shallow pan. I prepped my strawberries, washed them, rinsed them, or rinsed them, trimmed them, cut them up into bite-sized pieces. And so now I've built this really beautiful salad. This is it. It's greens, fruit, and pecans. Super simple. And if you don't like pecans, use walnuts or almonds. That would be really delicious too. So my salad is done. So I'm just gonna set it slightly off to the side and work on my, my vinaigrette, my dressing. So in my jar, I've got my oil. My, I'm using olive oil because I like it. It's a little bit thicker and it coats the leaves really well, but you could use any salad oil that you like. I've got my red wine vinegar. And my seasoning mix, which includes poppy seed, salt, dried mustard, onion powder, and sugar. So I've added this all together. And again, I really like doing my salad dressings in a mason jar just because it's so easy to mix up. I just put everything in one, one spot. It's like a one-stop shop. And then just shake it all up. And it's super simple. This is a really nice salad. So there you go. We've got our salad dressing and our salad, which is built. If you wanted to get this in preparation, if you wanted to prepare this for a brunch the day before or the night before, I would go ahead and just get all your ingredients ready. So make sure your greens are ready to go, your fruit is ready, your nuts are ready to go, and your salad dressing is made up. Then what you can do is when you get to your destination or when it's time for you to host your brunch, you go ahead and just throw all your stuff into your bowl. You've got your salad dressing mixed up. It's already in your refrigerator, ready to go. Drizzle it over the top, toss your salad, and it's good. 
It's a really simple, simple, easy, quick recipe, and it's so versatile. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment or send a message. Don't forget to like and follow our Facebook page, Chicken and Nugget. And we look forward to seeing what you guys have created for brunch as well. We hope you have a great afternoon and a great day. Enjoy your brunch and happy eating.